Good morning everyone. Welcome to our English class. I am Mamika and later you will see Mom Sairi as she takes over the lesson. But before anything else, let us ask for the guidance of our Lord. So please join me in our prayer. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, good morning again. I hope that you are having a great day. And I hope that everyone is ready for the lesson that we will be going to discuss today. So our milk or our most essential learning competency for today is discover the conflicts presented in literary selections and the need to resolve those conflicts in nonviolent ways. For our objective, the students are expected to identify the conflicts in literature at the end of our lesson. So let us first have our engagement activity. So I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen. So I hope that you already have your pen and paper with you. So for our activity, as you can see, we have the word conflict in the middle and there are other words surrounding it. So all you have to do is to write the synonym of the word conflict on your paper. And I will give you one minute to finish the task. So your one minute starts now. Forty seconds. seconds. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. So your time stops. I hope that you already have your answers with you. Let us now reveal the answers. So the synonym of the word conflict or disagreement, fight, struggle, and argument. So I hope that you got the correct answer. Let us now proceed to our lesson proper. So our lesson for today is literary conflicts. Literary conflicts is a drama between two opposing forces in a literature. So it is a disagreement for the values, beliefs, motivation, or ideas of the characters or two opposing forces. When we say two opposing forces, it is usually the protagonist and the antagonist in the story. So, literary conflicts is the main tool of the writers in building the world of their story. It is important because it is the driving force of the plot. Also, it adds tension to the characters that enables the story to continue and the conflict is also the one that the characters is trying to solve all throughout the story so we have two categories of conflict the first one is internal conflict the second one is the external conflict for the internal conflict the character struggles with his opposing desire or beliefs so from the word itself internal the struggle is happening inside or inside the mind of the character. Um, it is a psychological struggle caused by their own emotions, fears, um, conflicting desires, conflicting beliefs, or even mental illness. So the two opposing forces in internal conflict is the same individual. Next one is the external conflict. 
sets a character against something or someone beyond their control. So it happens because the external forces are standing in the way of the character and of their values, beliefs that created tension as the character tries to reach his or her goals. So when we, when we say external forces, it means something that is out of control and um, the example of it is the people around the character, the society that he belongs to, the technology, natural phenomenon, or even supernatural beings. So an example of it is in the story of The Hunger Games, wherein Katniss Everdeen is the protagonist. So in here, Katniss Everdeen joined The Hunger Games. She is battling with the other tributes. So the external forces in the story is the tributes. The next example is the Harry Potter. So Harry Potter is or has a recurring conflict with Lord Voldemort. So that's the two categories of conflict, the internal and the external conflict. So I hope that you learned something and now I will pass the discussion to Mom Sire. Thank you, Mom Mika. Now let's now proceed to the types of literary conflict. First, we have man versus himself. It is a conflict within the character's mind. The character is struggling between his desires or belief in life. Like for example, Anna is, a, is in a relationship and she wants to choose whether to stay or leave her partner. The conflict that she was struggling in is choosing whether she will stay or she will leave her partner. Next, we have man versus man. One character's needs or wants are at odds with another's. It is a common conflict in a literary text or in a story. For example, two girls compete for the same role in the school play. The conflict there is they were competing with each other for the role. Next, we have man versus nature. A character is set in opposition to the weather, the wilderness or natural disaster, or it can also be struggle against animals. Usually, the character is struggling to survive. For example, Robert is in the middle of the stormy seas. The conflict there is the character is struggling how to survive in the stormy seas. So that's an example of man versus nature. Next, we have man versus supernatural. Putting characters against phenomena like ghosts, gods, and monsters, the character is challenged by forces that are out of this world. For example, A boy wizard must use his powers to protect his community from evil monsters. It makes it supernatural because of the evil monsters and the use of power which is out of this world. Next we have man versus technology. The character is facing machines or technology and must prevail against it. The character struggles with or against the technology. For example, a group of strangers get stuck in an elevator. Our character is the group of strangers and the technology used there is an elevator and the conflict is they got stuck in an elevator. So that's an example of man versus technology. Lastly, we have man versus society. The character is placed in opposition with society, government, cultural tradition, or societal norm. The characters often fight against social perception. 
Their struggles could include the fight for freedom, against racism, for progress or change. For example, a woman refuses to move to the back of the bus because, because of the color of her skin. The conflict there is she struggles against racism. So, that's all for the literary conflict. Now, let's check your knowledge. I have a I have here a 10 item quiz and all you have to do is to identify what type of conflict is given. Please get your pen and paper so we can get started. I believe you already have your pen and paper with you. So let's start. Number one, negotiation between two businesswomen. A. Man versus nature. B. Man versus society. C. Man versus technology. Or letter D. Man versus man. The correct answer is letter D. Man versus man. Next. A loner struggling to fit in school. A. Man versus supernatural. B. Man versus man. C. Man versus society. Or letter D. Man versus technology. The correct answer is letter C. Man versus society. Next. A man attempting to get over an ex-lover. A. Man versus himself. B. Man versus man. C. Man versus nature. Or letter D. Man versus technology. The correct answer is letter A. Man versus himself. Next. Hurricane Katrina destroyed livelihood. A. Man versus man. B. Man versus society. C. Man versus nature. Or letter D. Man versus supernatural. The correct answer is letter C. Man versus nature. Next. Harry battles Lord Voldemort with wits and magical powers. A. Man vs. Supernatural B. Man vs. Society C. Man vs. Man Or letter D. Man vs. Technology The correct answer is Letter A. Man vs. Supernatural Next Evil robots trying to destroy humankind. A. Man versus himself. B. Man versus society. C. Man versus man. Or letter D. Man versus technology. The correct answer is letter D. Man versus technology. Next. An Asian student experienced disc discrimination at school. A. Man versus nature. B. Man versus society. C. Man versus man. Or letter D. Man versus himself. The correct answer is letter B. Man versus society. Next. A tornado hits Troy City. A. Man versus nature. B. Man versus man. C. Man versus technology. Or letter D. Man versus society. The correct answer is letter A. 
man versus nature. Next, the knife fought with a fire dragon. A. Man versus man. B. Man versus technology. C. Man versus supernatural. Or letter D. Man versus himself. The correct answer is Letter C, Man versus Supernatural. Next, Dustin is fighting with Alex physically. A, Man versus Man. B, Man versus Nature. C, Man versus Supernatural. Or letter D, Man versus Society. The correct answer is letter A, man versus man. Okay, I guess we are all done. That's all for today. Thank you and see you next time. Goodbye!